us to you. Draw me to us you. The Bible, God's special gift to us. Introducing Emmanuel TV Mobile. Stay connected always. Have to stay glued to your TV set all day long. You can get quick access to Emmanuel TV everywhere you go with daily podcasts and regular updates. Easy online access 24 7 as you go. Stay connected wherever you go. Pray along with Prophet TV Joshua everywhere you go. In your finances, breakthrough in your career. Watch regular podcasts of all of the services. Become an Emmanuel TV partner with just one click. Join us on Facebook at TV Joshua Ministry. And on Twitter at twitter.com slash TV Joshua. And much more on YouTube at youtube.com slash TV. Beware of fraudsters. Our Facebook account ends with the numbers 1034-709-1644-0360. Visit the pages of our website all with just one click. Get to send your testimonies and prayer requests. Available only at scoan.org and emmanuel.tv. Get connected to Emmanuel TV and the Scoan on your mobile phone and develop your relationship with God even while you're on the go. Happy Independence Day to the island nation of Jamaica. Emmanuel TV bringing you the gospel of Jesus Christ. Changing nations, changing the world. We are built with them. Power walking through his way and spirit. The Bible says it must arise in each person's heart. It's not imitating someone else's action. God will meet you when you obey what he told you to do by his spirit based on his word. It is not only committing the word to memory which is valuable no doubt about that, but it is letting that way become an integral part of your being. A man can be a pastor by profession and not starting out. A man can be a Christian by profession and not such in heart. The way dominating you is the lordship of Christ in you. Let the way have right of way in your life. It's letting Christ have right of way. God is building himself into us making himself a part of us as the world dominates rules and satisfies our spirit nations God is building himself into us making himself a part of us as the world Dominates, rules, and satisfies our spirit nations. Thank you.
God has made it this way so that no man should go. I'm a solution to your problem, just as you are to mine. Every man has something big or small to plan. Find out what is in your hand, look for those who need it. Cause when you serve God, you serve those in need. I'm a solution to your problem, just as you are to mine. God has done it this way so that no man should go. I'm a solution to your problem, just as you are to mine. Humanitarian documentary is coming up next on Emmanuel TV. Emmanuel TV team are packing bags upon bags of top quality rice. There are hundreds of them. Their destination, those in need. Often rejected and isolated, the aim of Emmanuel TV team is to put quality smiles on their faces. The vehicles make their way through the streets, packed with gifts that will make a tangible difference in the lives of those in need. The team arrives at their first destination, a slum littered with refuse. Could people really live here? Could people really live in a place that is not fit for human beings? With the amount of litter, congested alleyways, one can only imagine the stench. Surveying the scene, the Emmanuel TV team find this place. This is the community shower and bathroom. These are basins which they use to wash. Among the inhabitants of this community are the blind those with leprosy and other diseases. They live here, far away from normal communities, struggling to fend for themselves. Poverty having taken its toll, many suffer as a result of their hopeless and helpless state. <coughs> More of These are the wells that the community draws its water from. They are not only dry, but contaminated. Today, the church is being awakened to her responsibilities towards the needy. This is not the time to sit on the fence. It is time to act faith. James 2, verse 14 to 20. The Emmanuel TV team call upon members of the community to receive the gifts they had brought for them. Forming a human chain, Lines of blind people are led to a central point in the community where the Emmanuel TV team are to greet them. The 
Manual TV team prepare benches for them to sit on. This man is suffering from goiter. This woman is physically challenged and crawling on all fours. Another condition that was seen was leprosy. This man has lost his toes through leprosy and cannot walk without the aid of crutches. Casually dressed and almost unrecognizable, Prophet TB Joshua takes a keen interest as he walks through this community. The door of the truck opens and Prophet TB Joshua joins the Emmanuel TV team to carry bags and bags of rice as gifts for the community. Emmanuel, well, we are here at one of the homes for the destitute. Prophet TB Joshua and the Emmanuel TV team are here to visit the blind, the lepers, the physically challenged, the orphans, the widows. And we are here to demonstrate the love of Jesus Christ. The Bible says that there can be no love that does not express itself in giving. And we are here today to give our love, to give our time, our strength, our effort, and every good thing that God has given us. And we are here in the home of one of the needy. So right now we are going to listen and hear what they have to say. Can you please tell us your name, sir? My name is Ahmed. Ahmed Abdul Hayat. Okay, who are you in this community? I'm the secretary of the Serki now. We are in Alabaragua and the home for the needy. Okay, so this place is the Alabaragua Jack on the home for the needy. Yeah. Can you tell us who are the set of people that make up this needy community? Blind, leopard and cripple. Okay, so you mean this community is made of blind, the lepers, and the, and the crippled? Yeah, I'm a blind person. Okay. So you mean uh, you cannot see at all? Yeah, really. So who is the person helping you around? Uh, see, uh, uh, he's, this is my brother. Well, uh, uh, our condition of the people, we are facing lack of, the, lacks or lack of accommodation. Then our, pe our children are not going to school. We are facing lack of food, lack of clothes. Uh, that way, I'll pay what, what we are missing. My name is Umar Abdullahi. I, I am the secretary of the leprosy people of Nigeria, and uh, and we have been here for over 25 years, but we have never seen any type of health which like this one before. Mm. So we are very very grateful, and uh, we are we appreciate it. The condition is very difficult to us because we do, we do not see food is hard, um, uh, money, health, everything we, everything we know, we are not uh, having care. It is the first time that we have seen this type of health since we are here, over 25 years. This bag of rice, we have never seen, nobody brought this kind of health to us. So, so we thank Pastor Joshua, may God be with him. Yes. Amen. Thank you very much. Thank you. So we are here to see your people because Jesus loved them. Jesus is the father of fatherless, Thank you. companion to the lonely, and the benefactor to the needy. So he loves you. We want to be your friend, and uh, this is friend forever, and a companion forever, father forever, and relationship forever. Thank you very much for accepting this wonderful offer, the offer we are giving you. Thank you very much. Prophet TB Joshua thanks the community for accepting the gift of 300,000 Naira. No, thank you. Thank, thank you. you thank you. God bless you. Thank you. How are you? Prophet TB Joshua takes time to greet the children, one by one, sharing the love of Jesus Christ, putting quality smiles on their faces. The children's response symbolizes that of the whole community. Joy, knowing that someone cares. 
If we say we are Christians, all our concerns, aspirations and heart desires must be subject to the gospel by works of charity, knowing that we lose nothing by doing that which pleases God. Uh, we are very very happy today and we are this is the first day that we are uh, thank somebody here in Lagos my name is Mohammed Ibrahim my father is the psyche of blind so tell us for how many years have you been here uh, 15 years for 15 years can you tell us for the past 15 years what have been your experience in this community uh, to eat is difficult my children is not going to school no food no uh, uh, communication no any no money we are begging. So you mean you beg before you can eat? Yes. So now that man of God, Prophet Tim Joshua, has brought 300 bags of rice and also cash gift for you today. How do you feel? Ah, we, we are very happy. We are very happy. Orphans are here and we want to listen to some of the children that are here. We are here. Prophet TB Joshua and the Emmanuel TV team has visited them and uh, they are provided them with rice and gifts and money and we just want to hear from the children. They are so excited. This is actually the first time that anyone has actually visited them and provided them with such gifts and you can see the excitement, the joy on their faces. My name is Gisu. My age is 12 years. I thank you Mr. Joshua to give our rights to our mother and our father. My name is Salisu Abdullahi. My age is 13 years. Can always say thank you. God will bless him. Everything that he's done for us, but which we will pray to him that he has bring this gift to us. Nobody can bring this gift to us. Only him. We, we can play, pray to him. God will bless him. Amen. Many street boys also quickly gathered together after learning that Prophet TB Joshua had come to their slum area to feed the lepers, the blind and the afflicted. You can see hundreds of them standing, waiting to see Prophet TB Joshua. At the Man of God's words, Members of the Emmanuel TV crew offload enough bags of rice to feed them. These are the bags of rice. Prophet TB Joshua has come to this slum to bring hope to the hopeless, promising to give scholarships to those not going to school. These are the self-made shacks where the boys hang out daily. Wow! What is this? <laughs> Prophet TB Joshua embraces one of the street boys who's smoking marijuana. He removes it from the boy's hand and laughing, stubs it out on his jeans. Prophet TB Joshua playfully moves among the boys, greeting them and sitting with them in their environment, showing them the love of Jesus Christ. On their part, the boys seem very happy to spend time and be close to Prophet TB Joshua. Inside the shack, Prophet TB Joshua lets them know the reason of his being there. He expresses his desire to send them to school to assist them to learn and develop skills, to get jobs, and to integrate them back into society.
Your mommy died from small. You don't have anybody. You are just a no. That's why you are here. I want to go back to school. Yeah? I want to go school. You want to go back to school? Where's your mom and your dad? My mom is uh, my dad. Okay. My dad is next. Well, why can't you bring more rice? How many rice? I'm not going to bring more rice. 20, 20, 20, 20, all of them. I'm not going to bring more rice. What's up there? 10,000 here, 10,000 there. So please, next time, I'll support you again, okay? So I love you all. Okay. We love you, Susa. I need your prayer. Father, we thank you. I'm meeting your children here today. Uh, tell them so. Inform yeah, them. Put them in a the position where you'll be interested in whatever they do. Thank you. Thank you. This is Giren Kwanu Agege. Local Government Area, home of the needy in Lagos, Nigeria. The rough shacks pieced together with scraps of rusty corrugated iron are the only shelter these people have. This is where they live. Many here are blind, leprous, orphans, widows, in want and in desperate need of someone who cares. Guides lead the blind through the shacks and over open sewers as the news spreads that Prophet TB Joshua and the Emmanuel TV team have come to pay them a visit. Touched by the great need of the people before them, the Emmanuel TV team immediately set to work offloading bags of rice. Everybody steps forward to lend a hand, including Prophet TB Joshua, who carries not one, but two bags of rice at a time. Knowing that for many in this community, finding food to eat is a daily challenge they face, the Emmanuel TV team are swift to offload the rice. They carry the rice a short distance through the neighborhood until they get to the center of the slum area. The Bible says that we should endeavor to copy the example of Christ, who is never tired of doing good. Jesus Christ himself taught us by example to serve others, not because we want to be appreciated, but because we obey God and love our neighbors. Knowing that some may not be able to move far enough to receive their gifts, Prophet TB Joshua also personally delivers bags of rice throughout the community. The young, the old, male and female come from all corners of the slum to meet the Prophet and his team. They are happy that someone has come to visit them. 
yet more of the blind and afflicted inhabitants of this area are led to where the rice is given out. And as the number of people keeps on increasing, so do the number of bags of rice. As more and more rice keeps on coming, we're reminded of what our Lord Jesus Christ says, that it is more blessed to give than to receive. And as Prophet T.B. Joshua himself says, we should spend more on others and less on ourselves in terms of our love, strength, time, money, material effort and every good thing the Lord has given us. For that is the only way we can commit more love and faith into the society of which we are a part. Each of them make trip after trip until they have brought out all the rice that this section of the community needs. If we say we are Christians, all our aspirations, concerns and desires must be subject to the gospel through giving, knowing that we lose nothing by doing that which pleases God. The Emmanuel TV team, led by Prophet TB Joshua, see it as a rare privilege to be in a position to give, because whatever we do or fail to do to others, that we do unto God. What is given for the relief of the poor and the support of God's worship is actually given to God. If this is our aim in giving, though we may give out a little, our offering shall be accepted of Jesus, for Christ values our little effort to honor him if it is done in humility, faith and cheerfulness. Here we are at Agege Didinkwanu, home for the needy, and as we can see there are many needy around us. There are homeless, there are lepers, there are the blind, there are orphans, there are widows and widowers, and we are here today to demonstrate the love of Jesus Christ through giving. Yes, Prophet Joshua and the Emmanuel TV team have come here to see what we can do. You know, there can be no loving that does not express itself in giving. And we are here today to give our love, to give our time, our effort, our strength, and every good thing that our Lord Jesus Christ has given us. So we're going to speak to some of the leaders of the community and some of the residents here to find out exactly what life is like here in the community. Emmanuel, can you please introduce yourself to us? Tell us your name and your age. My name is Yunusa Ismail. My age is 25 years old. In this place, we call it Gidan Kwanu, home of the Nidit Agege, local government Gidan Kwanu is Aloja. So now we want to introduce our fathers here that stay here, our leaders, so I will introduce them one by one. This is our... Amias, and this is the secretary, and this is the speaker, the vice secretary. Suna, Alaji Abu Bakar Sarke Magabi, Alaji Abu Bakar, the Emir of Blindness, Alaji Abbas, Alaji Abbas, no, the secretary, yes, okay, yes, sir, Alaji Ahmed, Mohammed, Alaji Ahmed, Mohammed, uh, and the speaker. They are the leaders of this community. They are the leaders of this area. Can you tell us what has life been like in this community, living in this community for you? Life has been difficult. Our students here now, we are not going to school. Every way, as very suffer in this place. We just thank God for this help of our manual room here to help our parents. I'm very happy about that. Thank you. Can you tell us your name? I can say my name was Hassan Mohammed. I thank God. This is the first time that we are seeing this can help thank to Stephen Joshua to have our people here. Small children are here, there's no school, there's no good school, and this is the first time we are seeing this. So we thank God. So we have listened to 
them, the people of this community, and they are thankful that they have been visited today by Prophet TB Joshua and the Emmanuel TV team. I mean, this is the very first time that someone has come to help them, to give them gifts, and uh, we give thanks to God for what he is doing in Jesus' name. God loves you just as he loves everyone. We want to start a relationship that will continue. We are here to establish a relationship, a relationship forever, forever, and uh, faithfulness forever. The Bible says, love your neighbor. You are our neighbor. We cannot leave you. Without you, heat and feel fine. We feel what you are feeling. That is why we are here today to tell you that we love you. Jesus love you. Thank you very much. We will be coming every right time as God permits. This is just a beginning. Thank you. Prophet TV Joshua said that he had come to establish a lasting relationship with them and to start, he is giving them 300,000 naira along with rice. My name is Muhammad Law Musa. Are you very happy that the man of God, yes, T.B. Joshua, yes, has come here to give you money and give you bags of rice? Yes, I'm very happy. Nobody to come here and give us this, thing, this kind of this. All the people of Nigeria, nobody ever do like this for us. This is the large pile of rice that was brought to the center of the community. From there, Prophet T.B. Joshua and the Manuel TV team continued on foot throughout the community giving to all those in need that they met along the way. Jesus Christ was moved with compassion when he saw people in need. Wanting to feel what they feel, Prophet B. Joshua interacts with members of the community he meets, while at the same time directing the Emmanuel TV team as they continue to give out more rice. Anywhere they went, the gifts were received gratefully and joyfully. What a real privilege it is to be in a position to put a quality smile on someone's face. Along the way, the Emmanuel TV team made larger gifts at various places, including the community mosque. See what joy a gift can bring.
kuja safu akini yoruko isa Solomon akata emini bale sale ya gege she nu yi dusi ohun to sele ni agbegbe yin lojo tito ni emi du kuko toru de iru o sele ri e se gan joshua e ko odun e ko yo to god be the glory with the mission completed the team go back home Glory be to God. Emmanuel TV bringing you the gospel of Jesus Christ. Changing the world. Happy Independence Day to the island nation of Shin of Jamaica. This is Emmanuel TV. along with Prophet TV Joshua. Viewers all over the world, prepare your hearts to receive and get ready to pray along with Prophet TB Joshua. Whatever situation you are in, God Almighty will take you from glory to glory. Pray along in faith, in Jesus' name. Viewers all over the world, those of you watching us from near and far, Get ready to pray along with Prophet TB Joshua.